Hey guys, this is Michael with AdShare Market, and I'm going to put this video together for you guys to show you how I do keyword research. And I'm currently in the Google AdWords Keyword Planner tool right now. I use this, and I also use Market Samurai. Market Samurai allows me to really get into the weeds and check out what my competition is doing. But for what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to show you how I uh, grab these keywords and what I do and, and, and how I build them out. So to get here to the Google AdWords uh, Planner tool, first off, you need to have a Google AdWords account. And once you do, you log in, you type in, or you go to the Tools section here, Keyword pl Planner, press on that, and it takes you to this screen right here. Uh, what we're going to do today is one of my PLR products. Uh, it's called Wrinkle Reverse. Uh, I've been running this for about, I don't know, a, a long time. PLR stands for Private Label Rights. I've been probably running it for about a year or so. And I think it sells for like 15 or 16 bucks. Uh, let's see. Let me scroll down here. I'll make that $17. Okay. And the way that people get to this landing page is through my e anti aging cream uh, website here and what they do is as soon as they discover the wrinkle reverse solution they put their name email they sign up now and then they're automatically taken to this page here but what happens here is when I capture their name and their email uh, then at that point I have them in my autoresponder sequence and I just start sending them uh, probably an email every two to five days I think it's every five days actually uh, that's how I built it out and I, I have it so that I just uh, have these products and then I send them uh, customer reviews and so forth of these products and and then a, a buy page to come back to my website so that's exactly how I do that but let's start off with keyword planners here so knowing that we're gonna look for uh, wrinkle reverse uh, I'm gonna come type in here where it says uh, search for um, keywords and so forth and we're going to type in anti-wrinkle cream that's kind of the uh, the main keyword and we want to look at the targeting United States English Google and I'm going to leave this open for now uh, you could put some options in here I'm going to keep all of these off for now and because I want a lot of keywords I want to take a look at the whole gamut of keywords I'm going to get ideas and in this get ideas section it's going to show me the trends from pretty much all last year and as we scroll down here it's also going to show the ad group ideas what we want to do here is click on this keyword ideas and it's going to bring up different keywords for us and what we're going to do is we're going to hit this download section here so hit download and then uh, it's going to come up on an Excel CSV file download and this is what we're going to work with next. I cancel this. I already have it on my desktop so I'm just going to bring it up here. And here's the file that we're going to work with. So what I'd like to do to begin with, this is the keyword, this is the currency, it's on US dollar. This is the average monthly searches and this is this is an exact match or exact match only okay and this is the competition uh, let's see suggested bid and I don't really care about these matter of fact you can get rid of all these if you choose to but this is where I start off I go ahead and type in LEN for length and I do Bravo 2 is the cell oops there it is anti-wrinkle cream so it's this cell I want to look at the length and I hit enter and it shows me that there's 18 characters in here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit control copy or control C I'm going to hit control shift down arrow it's going to select all of them then I'm going to hit control V and what that does or did is it tells me the length of all of these on the left hand side the cells so we're going to we're going to find our long tail keywords this way so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this here and uh, unfortunately I don't have let me let me move this over a little bit it's sort and filter function here we're going to sort uh, it'll be a custom sort oh hold on I'm sorry 
and sort from the largest to the smallest. So what what this does, it's yeah, we're going to expand the selection and hit sort. What this does for us is it finds the longest keywords. And here they all are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select all these keywords. And I'm going to do all the way down to 30. That's kind of my cutoff right there. A lot of keywords here. So there it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that to be a color. I'm going to select those to be yellow. And next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the monthly searches. This is the next column. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come over here and sort from the largest to the smallest, once again, and have that selected. Hit sort. And it's going to show you emu oil is uh, searched 33,100 times in the United States every month. And as you can go down here and so forth. Now, what I'm looking for here is somewhere in the uh, in this case about 5,000 or so. So right in here is when I want to find uh, a keyword. So let's find, well, uh, best anti-wrinkle cream, 3,600 keyword or searches per month. That, that'll do right there. I'm going to make that a green color. Now I'm also going to take this cell. I'm going to control copy the cell and I'm going to bring this over here. I'm going to, to just a, a Word document here, and I'm going to show you how I build a silo here. Come back to this. And next, what we want to do is we're now we're looking at about a thousand searches per month, somewhere in this ballpark right here. Uh, I, let's see, 1622 best anti wrinkle or best eye wrinkle cream. I'm going to go ahead and select that one as well. And this is, uh, as we just go down the chain here, this is just a, uh, a quick method of building a silo here. Because it's going to be very challenging for us to, to get to these keywords right here. But I'm going to show you a way that we're going to find a low competition keywords. And we're going to tackle those first and eventually we build up to what we want to do to the top of the silo. So uh, let's keep going down here and find some more keywords and we'll probably be in this range now. Uh, so homemade wrinkle cream that actually I think I that's probably the one I have anyway on here but let's uh, Homemade wrinkle cream. I'm going to go ahead and select that one. And I'm going to put that one over here. And now that I got, uh, this one had like 3,600 searches, these had uh, 720, and the other one had, I forget exactly how much, but we can scroll back up and take a look. About 1,600. So we're, we're pretty much uh, right where we want to be uh, in terms of actually. Let's see, 1,600. Uh, let's see. I like the word best uh, a little bit. That's a, that's called a modifier uh, because when people are looking for these keywords, uh, they're looking for uh, you know to buy. This is kind of a modifier to buy. Uh, we're trying to trying to get these people uh, trying to get money out of people's wallet, and this is one way to do it. They think it's the best, and that's why they buy it. So, and it also has a thousand monthly searches. So, I'm gonna make this one instead a money keyword. I like it a lot better than the other one. So let's let's do that. Go back here. Okay. So this is the top of the silo. This is the second tier, and now we're gonna go down to a third tier. And this is what we want to find: low competition keywords. And if we're lucky, we'll find also the uh, long tail keywords in this section. So here's the competition section. What I'd like to do is once again sort these. Now I'm going to do smallest to largest now. And leave that at, like that and hit sort. And here we go. 
we have uh, very low competition. These are long tail keywords. Not very many searches per month, but this is what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and we're going to copy those, put them right underneath here. And I want five of them. And one more. And I'm also going to want five over on this side. And so we'll just take the next five. So let's see that one. the formatting is getting kind of messed up here but uh, I think you guys get the picture we're gonna get the next five I'll just put them in here as I scroll down Control C Control C you see, this is a very uh, quick process that I'm doing. I'm not spending that much time with these keywords. And, well, there it is. That's actually one of them. I thought it was. And this should be a yellow color, obviously. But it doesn't really matter for our purposes. Oops. Let me grab, grab it here. Control-C. And the way that I copy right away is Control-V, as in Victor. It's not working. Hold on. Got it that time. Okay. So as you can see, uh, this is the silo method of looking for different keywords. So this is kind of what we're focused on. I did it really fast for you guys, but now what do we do? That's the big question, right? What do we do? Well, the, what we do is we have one, two, three, four, five, and five. That's ten total keywords, long tail keywords, low competition keywords that we could start making articles for. We can actually do videos for these keywords. And what happens is they start triggering up to these keywords here and to our main keyword up here, best anti wrinkle cream. So that's the silo method of grabbing these keywords and actually having uh, people come to your site what you do is you build these links and eventually people find themselves here and to well, actually they find themselves either here or here if I'm driving paid traffic to it or if I just link if I'm linking directly to it which I link to, to both the website and to the landing page but and eventually this is where you want them you want them to add to cart and for seventeen dollars all day long so any, anyhow, I hope this guy's helped. I hope this helped you guys out, and uh, keep following along. And we we really appreciate you guys here at uh, Ad Share Market. You guys have a great day.